I know it's frequent with preemies, but I'll breathe a lot easier when it's all cleared up. Of course, we're giving him digitalis and diuretics and endomethacin. Trying to pull him out of this. I should tell the parents. Uh. We can't. Why? What are we waiting for? No, it wouldn't be all right to tell her myself. But I'll wait till the last possible moment. found me, can't you find him? Well, I can't. He could be anywhere. An eagle and chimps. Look, I'm sorry, I don't know. Look, that's my personal business. Now, I don't understand what you're doing. Are, are, are you accusing me of something? Tell me if you think of anything that I might be interested in, okay? Away and stay away, or I'm gonna call the police. I told you and told you, and now you offer to buy me a house with stolen money. I am involved, didn't you? I know. What are you doing? You should give yourself up. Oh, hey, look, look. Oh. Who cares? I don't have my baby. Just leave me alone. Look, get out of here before I call the police. Franny. Now, did Garwood... Well, sure. I mean, as a joke, he said it would be little Garwood's inheritance. <sighs> Some inheritance. I guess so. Oh, please. I'm tired, and I'm scared. Take Garwood back to prison before someone shoots. What's he got to do with it? Look, you said the bear was... Walt? He plays gin every Wednesday with his buddy Norm. He said he had to get out of the house that the wa waiting was... Oh, I know the territory. For you to make it, Sonny. Six years old, Sonny. How do you expect him to take it? I suppose if I'd been in some other line of work, things would have been different. Doing what? Just for my brother downtown? What to do with it? Seeing you shot that time. I'll make up the couch. Sonny? I've made a very hard decision, Sonny. Billy and I are moving back to Atlanta. Plus, Billy has his cousins and his grandparents there. Sonny, we already agreed he should stay with me. Now, you just have to accept that I have my own life now. Yeah, well, I have. Now you know why I hired a lawyer. I'm not going to back down, Sonny. I'm sorry. As custodial parent, my client will take the boy. I will ask. Oh. 
It was a pet name Johnny had for me. No one else ever called me that. Um. Oh, Aunt Jess. Now, don't you go trying to fix me up on this cruise. Oh, God. Oh, this is insane. It's a nice special. And covered with mustard sauce. It was Johnny's favorite meal. I made it up. called out my name, a pet name. At least that's what I thought I heard. So I started up the stairs, and when I got to the top, I think someone grabbed me. Uh, at least I was sure. It happened so fast. Passenger Pepper Crane, please report to the purser's office. Passenger Pepper Crane. No, it's, uh, Pamela Crane. It's for you. I just got back from seeing the principal at Billy's school. What's up? Well, they caught Billy playing hooky. You don't want to know. Look, Billy's going through some changes, Sonny. There are a lot of things going on in his life right now, things I can't help him with. Thanks. <clears throat> Some things you can't say over a phone. It's gonna be a boy. Thanks. Billy's really upset, Sonny. This is the third time he's gotten in trouble at school. It was an accident. Oh, that's just great. You of all people. You with your swinging lifestyle and your your women and your fast car for once in my life well i'm sorry sonny i'm sorry i even called you look i uh you're right you're right i should have talked to him and now it's too late and he'll probably never forgive me for this and i guess i'm just a, a terrible mother okay caroline stay there i got it you gotta save your strength just leave it in the hallway we're still working Oh, no. Ah, number two. 